just trying to put out the fire. stop we ended up going to nana's last night i had chicken it's a nice day in london town i think we're gonna do like shopping we're gonna do some chill stuff as probably one of you saw in my last vlog rome was pretty hectic we just did like tourist stuff back to back to back i can't stop like imitating people's accents here it's like really bad like we we took a train from the airport and these people were talking behind us and i literally thought it was a joke it sounded like something fake. I don't know if that's like offensive or anything, but I just like can't and I keep trying to imitate it and like I already do this thing where I'm just always speaking in a terrible London Cockney accent and I can't do it here because I think people are gonna think I'm making fun of them and I'm already like a stupid American. You know, it's all right. We're in the hotel room. Here's our view. I'll do an outfit of the day. These are from Urban. I'm wearing this black shirt and I'm wearing this zebra print thing that I stole from my friend. Pip Pip Cheerio. Okay, so we're getting back from our day to Oxford Street to River Island, which is basically British Forever 21. Oh, we walked to Buckingham Palace, which I totally forgot to take videos of. It's raining. So I forgot to film for like two days. Yesterday we just did touristy stuff and we went to the London Eye. Very big. It's very big. And the London Dungeon, which was super fun. If anyone is in London, go do it if you like scary things. I filmed a part of the London Eye because my mom reminded me and she wanted to shout out. I don't mean I want to be in it. <laughs> I'll blur your voice. I'll put it, put it over your face. That's my mom. So thanks, mom. We're in the gay part of London. We're in the West End. We got tickets to see Come From Away tonight. I'm excited to see it. <laughs> we're walking to Piccadilly and we're going to shop till we drop. Still in the same clothes that I was wearing yesterday. We had a pretty crazy trip. We originally were supposed to fly out of Heathrow. It was about an eight hour flight that was supposed to land in Washington, DC. And then we were supposed to go to LA from there. And we get to the airport and we had trouble checking in and we talked to all these people and they were like, this flight is happening, but you're not on it. And we were like, what do you mean? They basically were like, it looks like you canceled it. I guess what turned out happening is they didn't register that I had gotten to Barcelona, so the airline automatically canceled our returning flight. Some guy got us on some flight. We were flying United. We ended up flying American Airlines. We had to run to another terminal. Basically spent an hour and a half to two hours waiting for this flight on standby to see if we'd get on. We literally were the last people on the plane in the very back row of the plane. Like the back back, like no one was even next to us. I think United would have been really bad. It was really nice. We had TVs. I watched Star Wars episode four, five, and six while I slept through four. 
and I watched five, and then I saw about an hour of six, and then we got off the plane. So we got home at about two. I didn't go to bed till like five. I have to do all my laundry and get my oil changed in this car because I'm going to San Francisco tomorrow for Pride. Europe was really fun. I did not film Spain or Florence, but they were like two of my favorite cities. Rome sucked. London was really fun. Bye.